cek 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 oke okay. uh, is it better to use mic or no can you hear me without mic no or this is better using mic okay um for online students can you hear me clearly i'm using my mic, microphone can you hear me clearly no uh okay okay good so i will um, using mic and we can go for the small introduction Okay, online students, you see the screen. Okay, and I can start now. So, um, this class is the 11 one. Okay, um, I refer this the, the class to be class B because there are two classes that I teach. So, for the introductions, um, I want to know whether you guys passing the math test or no. You guys passed the test, the math mathematical test last week. You guys has, have a test, right? You get pass or no, or fail? Who, who pass? Who pass? Anyone pass? No? No? No, okay, okay. That, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, uh, is it difficult? Is it difficult? Is it difficult? Hard? Easy? No? Or forget all the math? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay, so calculus is actually one section in math. Okay, I will I will um, go into that later. But uh, my name is Simana Dipurnama. I'm uh, assistant professor in College of Engineering. Um, my email, you can um, email me if you need anything. You can ask me if you want to. Uh, requesting something is also fine. Um, I graduated um, master and PhD in material science department in NTSD. So my background is material science, but uh, for math and calculus, uh, because it's uh, necessary or it's really important for all engineering fields to learn. Um, so whatever engineering fields you want to go okay, with either uh, chemical, mechanical, or anything, uh, at least you need to have a good background in math and especially calculus. Uh, let's check this QR code. Okay, I want to know whether it's it's working or not. Okay, and also for the online students, you need to scan the QR code. Uh, use your uh, smartphone. I uh, will wait a um, couple minutes, one to two minutes, for you to take the uh, picture or just uh, directly scan. It's, it's working. Okay. Oh, by the way, is this your first time uh, going to class and having a class in English? Yes. Okay. Okay. So, um, if you feel um, confused, um, maybe something uh, maybe difficult to understand. Uh, uh, Please raise your hand, or if you shy, maybe you can just come at the front and ask me, or maybe just email me. Okay, I know some of you prefer to to have like shy attitude, but that's that's fine. That's fine. I know that because 
I am in your position a few years ago. Uh, yeah, years, years ago. Okay, uh, okay attendance. Uh, next is, yeah, I uh, need to check the Moodle system. Okay, uh, every, uh, I'm suggesting uh, every week, every, yeah, every week, at least every week. Um, the easiest way is just to integrate your uh, email to your university email. So every time there's an announcement, you will know from just your email, okay? my, my suggestion. So uh, the online students, you can also uh, check the Moodle system every week. And I suggested you to uh, integrate your email to the university email. Okay? Yeah, that's the Moodle system. Uh, yeah, uh, this is just for reminder, okay? Uh, because the university policy uh, about the social distancing, wearing masks, and etc. cetera. Uh, if no, you will be choked by a dark feather, okay? Or do you know this picture is? Or do you? Yeah, you know, you know, you know right? Because uh, I think one year or two years ago, there's some student, they, they don't know about this. So I, I feel disappointed. Why? Okay, yes, joking. Yeah, textbook. Uh, if you want to find textbook, this is the cover. Uh, this is the nine edition. Okay, nine edition, and the key point is the early transcendentals. Early transcendentals, because there will be a lot of version, but I will be using this version. Okay, uh, it's nine, but if you find eight or seven, that still be okay. The difference between this nine and the previous just in the order. Okay, some chapters is like um, in nine. I prefer because it's more under understandable. It's easy to follow. But in previous edition, there is some chapters that jump. Like you need to go here, go here. Right? It's not really uh, good in uh, study. So that is the textbook. Okay. Um, and next is additional reference. Okay, I will uh, maybe show you Wolfram Alpha and the GeoGebra later. So this is your, uh, some reference that you might need if you want to help you uh, study, especially the Wolfram Alpha. You can ask any subject. You can ask, um, what is life? He can answer. <laughs> yeah. So any subject range from math, science, social, um, economy, all the major subject, it has like, how to say that, it has like computational system. And, and especially in math, if you ask, like for example, you have functions and you want to know what is the integration or what is the derivative of that function, the website, they can give you uh, all information you need, like for example, the solution, the graph, and other um, important things. We can uh, we can try later. Um, but you will not get the step by step solution. If you want to go there, you need to pay for the website. But I'm not suggesting to pay. Just keep your money. <laughs> Uh, but it's still useful. The free, the free version is still useful. And the other is some open course like MIT Open Course, uh, Coursera. You can find some uh, math subject or calculus subject to learn for the, for, uh, from these two. Um, the fourth is the GeoGebra. GeoGebra is actually um, gra gra graph, okay? graphing calculator. You know, you have the scientific calculator you can buy, right? You can, um, usually for most of the science and engineering, you can use that. But if you need to to make the graph in calculator, you need to buy the, the other model, right? But this is actually one website free that you can draw um, any functions, two dimension, three dimension, all the way you want. You can draw, you can um, make some, uh, uh, variations in, for example, you want to move your point from some point in the graph to other point, and you can make like 
like um, like a program. But it is easy to use, easy to use. Even though you don't, you don't really know how to program, you don't, you don't really learn the language. Uh, but uh, the website itself is quite easy to use. I will show you also later. And uh, the last one is not really um, useful for study, but if you want to know uh, why the calculus is important and how calculus become important, you can also uh, read this, but uh, I'm not suggesting, but if you want, okay, if you want. Okay, okay. so all the content is uh, from this textbook, this calculus, James Stewart. Nine edition. Okay, that's the textbook. Okay, this is the schedule. Uh, yeah, next Thursday we go to TR. And then uh, I've asked uh, in the in the in the first slide, so what is calculus? Okay. Calculus is one subject in math. Okay. Math has a lot of subjects from numbers, geometry, um, statistics, and all. Uh, calculus is one subject. Okay. It, actually, it has a definition, but the simple one is the mathematics that, uh, that study about change, or it has a rate of change. So calculus only has two um, main idea. Okay. You, I, I believe you all learn about this in high school, I believe, most of you. So the first is the idea of derivative, dy dx, dy over dx, if you heard before. And then the idea of the integration, okay. integral. These two concepts is calculus, but how we use it, how we apply it, it will become a lot. Okay. So this is the uh, founder of the calculus. The idea is came from the first one, the top one here, the picture. Anyone know? Yeah, it's Isaac Newton. I believe it's, it's quite familiar. Uh, uh, famous and familiar for you. And then the bottom one, anyone know? Anyone know? Any guessing? Maybe throw random name. <laughs> okay, so this is Newton, and this is called uh, Leibniz. Leibniz. So if you have learned um, the derivative is like that, and maybe you have seen before. It's similar to this D, but it's like a curve. Have you seen before? Okay. That is called Leibniz notation, actually, the, re the, the name. Okay. So it came from this guy. Okay. So Leibniz, okay. So these two um, establish a foundation of calculus. Uh, Newton, a uh, British, uh, Leibniz is from Germany. So from different places at the same time, they, they, they never met each other, but they established the concept of calculus. Okay. Um, I'm not going into detail about the history. You can check uh, by yourself, but from these two, um, we got our calculus today. Uh, maybe I will show you how Newton found the calculus, but uh, maybe it will be in the next course. So um, if you read here, this sentence, this uh, quote, quote by uh, Bertrand Russell, it's mathematician, also a philosopher, a calculus required continuity and continuity was supposed to require the infinitely little, but nobody could discover what the infinite little might be. Uh, you don't need to understand all the words here, but Two, at least two words that you need to, to uh, remember, okay? Continuity and infinitely little. Okay, okay. what does it mean? Uh, you have 
uh, imagine you have any line any from function okay if there is no distraction in the middle you can say it's continuously going right but when you have like for example like a hole you can say oh this there is a hole in the middle you can say this is discontinued okay so calculus need to be continued that's the first idea and then this line okay if you cut the line if you cut the line cut the line and it it will be like a dot right so dot if you group this dot it become a line that dot is actually our infinitely little what we call the dx but later i will show you uh maybe in the next course but the, at, at least you get the idea uh, a brief idea about continue and infinitely little okay the, the same idea apply to establish derivatives you have infinitely little the dx and integrations okay so derivative uh, there's a lot of uh, words about the definition but the simple way to remember derivative it's it's about the slope okay. so if i move my point from here going up it will at every point the slope will be changing okay so derivative is learning about slope behavior how slope behave in a function okay and integral is about the you have this function and you have the area under that curve that that area under that curve is your integral you can say the integration okay? and the idea is this area you can approximate by make a rectangle you cut and make a rectangle but if you see here it has like a small missing point okay, at the top of the uh, rectangle right but if you cut smaller smaller and smaller you will get are you feeling this hole right so your um we say approximation is getting better and better okay that's the idea of integrations um, we can talk about that later so the first half of our course we will talk about um, derivatives and the later second half we'll talk about integration and all the techniques inside okay so uh one point here is you have learned math since your uh, elementary school right and now you are in engineering right you you, you enter the engineering department um do you still hate or do you, do you like math or do you hate it <laughs> you like it but your score is not right <laughs> Yeah, but yeah. Anyway, uh, I want to approach okay um, a method that because uh, when I was uh, uh, in an in undergraduate uh, studying calculus or maybe in, in high school, um, I don't really like to memorize. I don't really like to like oh there is a formula oh, I need to remember this formula blah 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 blah. But I don't know why I need to remember that for what. Okay. So, what approach that I want to share with you is, um, I want to, we all, okay, going into direction that um, we know why we are doing that. Okay? We know why one plus one is two. Okay, we know why we are doing the derivatives. We are, we know why we are doing integrations. Okay, I need, I, uh, I'm trying to, uh, to give some um motivations why we are doing this okay because um maybe in the first year we feel like 
mm, I think I need to pass this course because if, if not, then I need to repeat next year. That's not good motivation. <laughs> That's not a good motivation, okay? Uh, failing or passing the course, um, for me, it's not, it's important, but the, the most important is what you learn from that, okay? What you learn from that, okay? Um, yeah. Yeah, I hope you, you can um, grasp um, information, uh, knowledge from the course. Um, if not, then we need to have a uh, discussion. Okay, I'm I'm open for discussion. Okay, because again, I I don't want to approach like uh, memorizing the step by step how to solve this, uh, the the um, the mathematical solutions, etc. Um, math or calculus is not really about finding a, a right answer or wrong answer math or calculus is actually about finding a pattern okay? like how you find pattern in um, in your nature because math is actually language that speaks our nature why when newton get his apple but that story is it's not i think it's not real but uh, anyway uh, the apple goes down and then the newton oh i need to have some specific language to speak about this phenomenon. And that's how um, physics needs math for tools, right? Physics needs math to, 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 to speak, to communicate. Okay. Uh, that way, um, I believe we can do better. Okay? We can do better rather than just memorizing, maybe asking your senior, um, checking his notes, checking his uh, maybe Previous uh, exam, um, that's not gonna work. <laughs> yeah, but okay. Uh, if you study, focus, I believe you you, you will be fine. Okay. So how how the class will be uh, perceived? How we going further? Uh, it depends. Okay, it depends. Okay, I already have a schedule. Like which chapters we will be discussing. Um, I will show you later. But. Um, how we progress, it depends. Yeah, it can be slow, it can be fast. Maybe you need some work to do. Maybe you need to have like relax. It's it's okay. We we cannot be forced like into all the information to one. That's the problem in our education. We are forcing like all the information into our brain, and our brain get hurt. Oh, too much. Yeah. So we need to have a uh, relax. That's that's fine. For me, that's fine. We we need to also need to check whether we, have, we still have the time or no, okay? So about the grading, um, attendance quiz, um, I have TA score, midterm final. Oh, I believe, I believe we have one TA. Uh, can it, can, uh, please come. Yeah, actually for this class, we have two TA. So one is Kenneth and the other, uh, who, who is from the uh, uh, Applied Science? Anyone from Applied Science? No? I believe they should be uh, Applied Science student. Maybe not coming yet, okay. Okay, so TA, uh, midterm, 20, uh, final 30, so the quiz, at least uh, three or four quiz. Um, I will also announce every time we will have a quiz, I will announce when. So so for attendance, if you, if you feel um, you have um, learned a lot and you have a confidence, because several chapters in the very beginning of our class is not really, uh, how to say that? It's, it's, it's not really that difficult. So if you want to skip that part, uh, you can come to me or email me okay, if you want. And I need to check whether you, are, you already know or not. 
then you can just skip that part and then uh, you need to come around October because from the October, middle of October, uh, things will get difficult. <laughs> so yeah, grading, yeah, any questions? Any question? Uh, online students, you can also write some question. Okay, any questions? Online students? If not, uh, I will go to Yeah. So this is the wall from Alpha. So you can check uh, any any questions you want. Uh, derivative. Oh yeah, let me see. Oh, people already asking a lot of questions. So let me see here. So yeah, so x with power four sine x derivative. Okay. So this is the answer. The short answer here. So this is the answer. And if you see the right side, it has this step-by-step -step solution. This is when you need to pay, but don't do that. Save your money. <laughs> and yeah, this is the graph. It also has the alternate forms. Um, if you want to look at, okay. It get, gave the roots, okay. The roots for the uh, graph. Domain range. Um, even you gave the uh, the integrations form, so you can ask many things. Okay, but you need to write in uh, in math language. Okay, in how to say that? Uh, not LaTeX. It's yeah, just a math language. I think it's easy. That is the um, Wolfram Alpha. Okay, so there's a question. Do you allow graphing calculator or only scientific calculator? Of course, I allow all the calculators, but for exam, it depends. Uh, sometimes you need the scientific calculator, sometimes you don't, but you will be fine if you don't use calculator, you'll be fine. I will not give you questions like really difficult to count. Okay. But for study, uh, you can use any device you want. Okay. Um, yeah, this is the GeoGebra. GeoGebra map apps. So it has two modes here. You have the, the calculator you can create functions and see by yourself. And you have the classroom resources. If you want to learn something here, so for example, like I sh uh, all math problem from the elementary school, junior high, high school, and college. For example, I want to know about limit. Already has some resource here. Uh, Like here, you can see, you can move the point, see where it's, oh yeah, this is interesting functions later. I will show you. And then this, what about this one? And see, uh, it seems that, uh, in, in, uh, see this sine x over x, okay? The graph is from negative pi until pi here, right? It, yeah, from actually from uh, uh, far left and far right, but we see negative pi and pi here. 
and in the middle we see zero. What happens if you plug in zero here? Sign x, sign zero is zero. X is zero, so zero over zero. But why why we have the graph? <laughs> okay, that's that's later question, but uh, if you see here, it's actually not reaching any zero. So it will skip zero. If you see, see, it's not reaching zero in Y. Okay. And that's when we will discuss the limit okay, uh, in the next, next uh, session. So that's the GeoGebra. Um, I need to show you the other. Oh, wait, I need to open the other one. Yeah, we have this, I will share. So I will show you our schedule. Forgot to, sh to share this to other class. Yeah, this is basically what I, I have designed the schedule. So we will have um, introductions now. Next is, um, I will start with the like um, somewhat bas basic, but I think you already know, but just review about functions, how to transform the functions, um, a little bit exponential inverse log. But if we maybe, but I believe we can finish this. But if not, then maybe we will uh, move some parts to the next day. Okay. And then for the 18, because it's only a few chapters from the very beginning, there will be an OTA class because you also have activity, right? Some of you in the, after 3 p.m. you have activity, right? Yeah. So you will start your TA class with uh, your TA in 25, okay? And we will have some, uh, Chapter in tangent, uh, limit, continuity, uh, some of the rule. And I've, I've designed this quiz here, but I think I will take slowly this month because, uh, because we are also missing some students. They are not yet coming. So maybe the quiz will be in the next, next week. Uh, I will inform in the Moodle every time we will have a quiz at least uh, one week before, okay, at least one week before. Okay. And then the, October, uh, we go to derivatives, uh, some rules in derivatives, uh, trigonometric chain rule, exponential log and inverse, uh, implicit differentiation, um, linear approximation, uh, blah, 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 here, and then curve sketching. Okay. Um, I think most of this uh, content you already get in your high school, but we will take a closer look and in more details. Still in curve sketching, and we will have the midterms around this day, this day. The, I hope we can finish chapter one to four. Okay. Uh, don't worry about the schedule. I will send the schedule in the Moodle. Okay. So you can check uh, later. So uh, Tuesday midterm. If not Tuesday, then go here. Um, and then another quiz. And then we go to integrations, area between curve, uh, volume, and then all the integration here from the trip, how to integrate it using a trigonometric substitution and so on here, 
improper integrals, um, arc length, uh, area of surface, some application to physics, but maybe I will skip this application. We will see later if we have time. And then I will have the final exam, hopefully before New Year. So you will have a spare, a lot of spare time. Okay. But if not, if not, if we maybe take quite slow, we still have two weeks in January. So we will still have like possibility for a final in second week or maybe third week. We still can have a final in in those uh, weeks. Mm. Yeah, I think that's the schedule. Okay. Okay. Um, any uh, questions? Any questions? Uh, online student, you have questions? Okay, any questions, online students? If not, then that's all, okay? Um, we will start the chapter one in the textbook uh, next Thursday. Um, yeah. I will upload all the contents like the introduction and the schedule in the Moodle later. Okay. And also I will uh, put the link for the re video recording if you want to um, review. Okay. okay, I think that's all for today. So if you don't have questions, so the class is finished. So thank you for the online session.